Hi, I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The audio version of my book, Mycroft Homes, is available at audible.com. So why Mycroft? Why not Sherlock? I chose uh, Mycroft because he's mentioned in the original uh, collection by Arthur Conan Doyle, but only about four or five times, not very often. And some of the things that Sherlock said about him, he said he's at least as intelligent as I am, and his deductive reasoning is every bit the equal of mine, if not superior. Um, he works for the British government, but sometimes he is the British government. And this is at a time when Great Britain is a, a world superpower. Wealth, military power, political influence. So if Sherlock Holmes' brother is, is the English, is the British government, that's, a, that's an extraordinary set of circumstances, and I thought it gave a, a very big and open area to explore and um, have some fun with. What you wanted to do was take Mycroft Holmes at 23, not at mid-40s where Conan Doyle introduces him. Why, why 23? I wanted to portray him as a younger man who is going to have some experiences in life that will eventually um, have a, a corrosive effect on him, uh, despite his desire not to have that happen. We have uh, the opportunity to explore his life, uh, his influence on, Sh on Sherlock's life, and uh, his influence on the, the workings and uh, deeds of the British government. So I, I think that's, that was something that's too fascinating and too rich with possibilities uh, to ignore. We got to the point where we realized, too, that these, these two people, um, Mycroft Holmes and his best friend Cyrus Douglas, were going to have at least part of their adventure in Trinidad. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Why Trinidad? Well, I, I picked Trinidad because that's actually where my family came from. My grandfather was an immigrant in, in 1917 from the island of uh, Trinidad. And uh, when he got to America, he had to register as a British subject. So that meant uh, that uh, at one point, uh, my family was part of the British Empire. Mycroft Holmes um, is the guy, as I found out through you, uh, that wants to stop crime before it happens, whereas Sherlock can only go after the criminal after it happens, and I found that fascinating. I would say Mycroft is a big picture guy and moves big pieces, whereas Sherlock gets down into it and, and does it in, in little, uh, very personal uh, ways he fights crime. But Mycroft, because he's uh, intelligent, direct and ruthless when he has to be. He understands that uh, this is a, a, a major skill for anybody that, that has to uh, be a diplomat. One thing that keeps coming up too is the Cambridge-Oxford race at the beginning of the book. And it was another thing, I feel so ignorant because every time I say anything, it's like another thing I didn't know anything about. But I really didn't know anything about it. And you brought up starting the book there. What was it about that that motivated you to want to start the book there? The, the British nation, they like to gamble. And they, they'll gamble on anything. They've gambled on how many rats uh, their dogs can kill. They gamble on uh, all kinds of races. They're just really passionate about it, so they're going to bet on, on the cricket match and the boxing matches, and they're definitely going to uh, uh, bet on uh, Cambridge versus Oxford. You told me at a certain point it was like USC, U UCLA. I mean, it's exactly. just everybody. It's, it's, the, it's the local rivalry and every, everybody's into it. What is your favorite of all time Sherlock Holmes adventure? So, you know, when I first started being aware of Sherlock Holmes, I, I watched the uh, series with Basil Rathbone, mm -hmm. and they weren't really even uh, written uh, from the original um, stories. As far as reading is concerned, uh, when I was in high school, we read The Red-Headed League. <laughs> and uh, I, I'd say that that was uh, probably my favorite one because it, it's classic and uh, Holmes does everything, keeps uh, the vital information to himself so that Watson can tell you about it at the end of the story. That's great. Yeah. <laughs>